We wrap up today's town hall with more of our special coverage on psychic numbing. Now, yesterday we introduced you to the concept, which explains how the human tendency is to care a lot more when only one person suffers, but not as much when many people suffer. Today, we're talking about why that really matters in this year of COVID and research that shows how we can get people to care more about those bigger issues. Psychic numbing is a psychological phenomenon that impacts the way we make decisions. Basically, we care a lot when one person suffers, but as problems get big, like coronavirus, which affects millions, we become desensitized. In fact, research suggests that as numbers in a tragedy get larger and larger, we actually care less and less. We have a, a short phrase that sums up the results of our of our research, and that is the more who, who die, the less we care. That's Professor Paul Slovic, who has studied the way we make decisions for more than 50 years. When information comes to us uh, in the form of, of uh, numbers, statistics, it often uh, doesn't convey any feelings in us. They're just numbers. And that can be a problem because our feelings are what drive us to take action, like wearing a mask or socially distancing. In fact, one of Slovic's studies found the feelings of compassion began to fade as soon as the number of people in need went from one to two. We have the strongest feeling of concern and desire to help when there's one person in distress. If there are two people in need, it, it probably won't feel twice as important to help them as one. So twice the number of people does not mean we care twice as much. And when cases and numbers climb, we might choose not to help because we feel like it won't make a difference. We think about all the people we're not helping, and that sends a bad feeling that dampens the good feeling we have about helping this person. So how do we make that leap to overcome what might cause negative feelings and help? Professor Slovic says it's important to focus on the people behind the numbers. It's the individual stories that kind of uh, help us appreciate the, you know, the reality of the situation, how people are experiencing it, how they're coping and, 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 and dealing with it. Even one picture can make a difference. Here's an example. By 2015, the Syrian civil war had displaced millions, though many around the world seemed not to care. But then one photo, which we won't show you because it's so disturbing, changed everything. It was of three-year-old Alan Kurdi, who drowned when his family was trying to escape the war. Professor Slovic studied the global reaction to that one gut-wrenching photo, and the response was staggering. Within a week, donations for the Syrian relief effort skyrocketed. It showed that the statistics which were there, which should have alarmed us and had us concerned, you know, didn't because we were numb, but the picture woke us up. It was something we felt and could understand. People were more willing to make that leap and help, even if only a little bit. And Professor Slovic reminds us helping that little bit can be what it takes to save a life. We say that you know, even partial solutions can save whole lives, you know, as a way to kind of get people not to uh, be discouraged by the fact that they, they, they can't solve a problem uh, completely. Mary Alice, not to give it away, but you and I were saying as journalists, we're always looking for that one person to tell that bigger story because that's what people connect with. That's right. I mean, a lot of uh, resources have been devoted to studying media and mm -hmm. how we engage people and get them to care about important issues. And, and that's exactly what it is we yeah. kind of do every day. Tell one person's story. That's right. Now we have all this new insight. Thanks to those stories. There you go. Well, that wraps up today's town hall, everybody. Thank you for watching.